One of the real frontiers of physics today is trying to extend that ability to control quantum systems to more and more complicated configurations. And so in our experiment, we don't use a single atom, but we use about 40,000 atoms. And what we are controlling in this case is the orientation of the atoms, which is given by the magnetic moment or the spin of each atom. And what we do is uh, we orient those atoms in a magnetic field against their will. We periodically perturb the system by pulsing on a magnetic or microwave fields that keep the atoms from ever falling down. And the actual physics and mathematics behind it is identical to Kapitz's pendulum. Uh, but what's unique in this, or what's new in this case, is that we're doing it in a quantum domain. And it's really the Heisenberg quantum uncertainties of the atom's orientation that we can manipulate. And so what we see here is a vacuum chamber uh, inside of which uh, all of the experiment uh, occurs. And we use lasers and magnetic fields to confine the atoms at the center of that chamber. And it's an evacuated chamber, so it's perfectly isolated. And that allows us, together with uh, the mechanisms of laser cooling and evaporative cooling, to reach temperatures that are essentially at absolute zero. And the exciting part about this work is that we get to come into the laboratory every day, the students and I, and we can explore quantum phenomena that only 20 years ago only existed in textbooks. So the rate of advance of the experiments together with the theory uh, has created a revolution in studying the quantum physics of more and more complicated systems. And it's an endless frontier. We don't really know how far we can push this. And so it's very exciting every day to just see how far we can take it.